I want to um, do a little unboxing. I want to give a little bit of backstory, though. This unboxing uh, kind of doesn't have a good story behind it. Well, you know, I'll unbox a couple of things, actually. There's a couple of things I have to do right now. And I was going to do these on stream, but I didn't really um, know. You know, as a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is leave Nintendo's Twitter page open. Let me see here. I'm going to go to them. If anything does go down, we'll be able to see it right there. Usually when a new tweet happens, um, it'll list it on Nintendo's thing. It'll say like, oh, there's one new tweet. So we're going to wait this out right here. I'm chilling on their page. If anything goes down, man, we'll be able to see it. But this unboxing doesn't have a great, the greatest story around it, but I'm still going to do it anyways. Because why not, man? I, this has been sitting on the shelf for a little while, and I want to open it up. So as a matter of fact, there's two parts to it. So I'm going to open this box first there's no mailing label or anything because i took it out of the initial packaging box but let me see here we're gonna open this because you know why not this is on some unbox therapy type shit man we're out here call me lou uh, let me cut this tape open hopefully i don't damage the actual product now buying stuff like this is normally not my forte but i had to considering what the actual product is to me this was like like iconic in terms of my uh, Logan Paul find a dead body. Really now he did, nigga? I had no idea. <laughs> but this was like, this is an iconic thing for me to buy. Um, like I said, I don't usually, but hey. Let me see here, how do I, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Ah, now here's the thing. When I initially bought this, what you're gonna see this is, I didn't buy it for myself and you'll know what's up when you actually see it but this was not intended for me this was intended for someone else and i was going to give it to them as a present now i bought this probably in the summer of last year and i still own it which means it wasn't given as a present which means uh <laughs> whoever this was intended for didn't receive it so doesn't that make you wonder I'll give you more backstory in a second once we open it up. A dildo? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would I give my Oh, well, you know what? That's actually a common gift that people buy. But no, I wouldn't buy a dildo for some random motherfucker that I don't know, okay? <laughs> well, well, I mean, it's not like I didn't know this person. But yeah, I, I bought a little something for this person. So, let me see here. Even though this is a gift for someone else... I can still appreciate it, and I'm gonna probably, you know, put it up somewhere. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll frame it or whatever. I don't know. I mean, that's not really. When you see what it is, it's not really that kind of thing that you do with stuff like this. But you know, when I initially bought this, like I said, meant for someone else, and now that I didn't give it to that person, the reason why I didn't give it to the person is because things didn't really work out. Shit went a little bit south. But you know what? That happens. I still want to enjoy this, so fuck it. I'm gonna bear through with it and just open it right here, okay, nigga? Ah. Ah, oh, man, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so damn cool. Ah, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Let me, let me give you some more story. Because I, I want to show you what it is now, but I, it, won't, it won't hit as hard if I don't give you some story. So, you know, me being, me being a bachelor and all that, being, living a single life, um, there were a couple people I was talking to and all that, and one person I really liked. So I was like, hey, let me get a little bit of a gift for this individual because, you know, they're cool. Who knows if things will work out, but I like them in the moment. So let's see if she appreciates it. Or, whatever. you know, I was like, hey, let me just get a little bit of a gift. Why not? And so I bought this thinking that it was a gift that I would give to the person later. But um, I still have it. So obviously that tells you a couple things. But the gift was so good that I said, hey, worst come to worst, if I don't give it to that person, hey, I'll still enjoy the gift for myself. You know what I mean? Um, it's for his ex-girl? No, no, of course not. No, that's been done. Um, Scott saying, yo, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to derail the stream, but fam, what the fuck is this? Wait a minute, well, Scott, what's up? <laughs> what, I'm, I'm nervous now. What are you linking here, bro? Imager? What is it? Oh, this is old. <laughs> oh, I thought it was, I thought you had like nudes or something like that. No, nigga, this is um, somebody paid me, like, I don't remember exactly, but someone paid me money. And we're like, yo, eat, suck that banana down. <laughs> and I, I think I was drunk, so I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll do it. Uh, yeah, it, it, I don't remember exactly because I was probably blackout drunk at this point. I look blackout drunk, nigga. Fuck, <laughs> why is that banana so deep? <laughs> God damn it! Stop embarrassing me on my streams, nigga. This is not the time or the place, God, all right? 
Although, my, with how my streams go, there's no better time or place. But you know what, man? You, you know, Scott, you keep pushing your luck, bro. I'm going to have to... No, you're, you know what? No. Scott's a cool dude. He's a cool dude, right? <laughs> Wrong, nigga. But okay. So I bought this for someone. Like, and things didn't work out. And you know, here's the thing. I bought this gift and it was like, I feel a little bit foolish behind it. Because I kind of feel like, damn, I didn't even get to know this person that well. And I bought a motherfucking gift or whatever. But ah, I feel dumb. I feel dumb. Because I should have been far more, like, I should have been far more, like, aware of how easy it is to bullshit. But whatever. The point is, I got I got a real nice gift out of it, man. <laughs> you know? This gift is great. <laughs> so, considering it was a girl and all that, I was like, hey, man, you know. What, 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 I mean, let me, let me buy a little something here. Man. I bought that girl Undertale. <laughs> I bought her the Undertale Collector's Edition. I was like, hey, this is a great gift. Why not? Because <laughs> she said, I never played Undertale before. And I was like, you never played Undertale? Fuck it. I'm buying you Undertale. But I didn't tell her I was buying her Undertale, you know? It was kind of meant to be a surprise. So the fact that shit didn't work out, you know, and I'm not going to go into details why it didn't work out, you know, it just didn't work out, but now I have a fucking, I, this was supposed to be hers, but now I have this collector's edition of Undertale, man, and I couldn't be happier, I only bought one, I should have bought two, but you know, I, I didn't, I didn't really, I don't, like I said, I don't collect games, I'm not really a big time, um, you know, guru when it comes to like, putting t products together and all that, yes, just like Matt Pat bought the Pope Undertale, a uh, romantic interest I had, I bought her Undertale, <laughs> this shit was like a hundred bucks, but, you know, considering that the game is, like, only, what, 10 bucks on Steam or whatever, I think it was pretty expensive as for, you know, considering the context. But, man, you it's, it's so cool the way that this is packaged. Hey, listen, girls love Undertale, man. <laughs> listen, that game, this game is, do you know how much this game means to me? It was such a sentimental experience, dog. If you were there, you know how much emotion I went through. This game was crazy. She was the Pope? Yeah, I, I was trying to fuck the Pope, and I bought him this game to get in his pants, nigga. But let me open. I haven't. I actually haven't seen an unboxing video or anything like that. So let me let me let me crack this bitch open, bro. Yo, the heart locket, nigga. This this might be spoilers if you have not played Undertale yet. But I mean, I don't know. Now, uh, <laughs> I feel so stupid. I didn't unbox this for the longest. You saw me just open it because I was so like pissed off that I got duped. You know, I got my heart played with, man. I got my damn heart played with. And it's the heart locket, so it kind of fits. It's like, this is so romantic. Yo, if you were a girl and I got you this, would, wouldn't, wouldn't this be cute? I think it's a damn good gift. Oh, wait, nigga, check the donation. Oh, my bad, man, my bad, my bad. Sorry I missed the donation. That came in from Edgy Trash Can. I have my volume down right now. I don't know why. But he says, yo, how to, um, wait, what? You better, we, uh, what? Okay, what did this man say? I can actually replay a donation. He says, um, also, please play this on stream. Is this a, is this a song, nigga? The fuck? I'm not, I'm not playing this, man. Right now, this isn't the focus right now. I'm talking about, I'm talking about an issue with the heart, bro. But, you know, I'll probably listen to this later on, though. But, um, Edgy Trash Can, wait, you the dude that met at the party? I think that is you. I don't remember the name that you used to donate to me last time, but... If you are that guy, my bad. My bad, Brad. I, I just got to finish. Let me finish the story. Let me finish this little story, man. I want to keep going through this, actually. This is so cool. All right, let me see here. Ooh, this is so clean, though. This feels heavy. This has some weight to it. The heart locket, bro. What the fuck? Is there something crazy inside of this thing? Considering the origin of this, it's like, oh, <laughs> fuck. This is significant, bro. This is something fucked up, but you know, I'm not going to go into spoilers. Obviously, if you haven't played Undertale yet, then that, you know, talking about what this actually is, is not going to, wow, look at that. It's so big. I don't think wearing something like this outside would be a good move. In fact, it seems a little bit too skinny to wear around the neck. I can't put this over my head, obviously. This is not going to, but you know what? Okay, let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. If it's a spoiler or not. What the hell? Huh? That is so fucking cute.
That is adorable. But there's a little something. It says best friends forever on the inside. If you know the context of Undertale, <laughs> that is a fucked up message. It's so cute on the surface, but deep down, you know there's some fucked up shit here, man. God damn. That theme, though. That is so cool, though. Wow. Wow. Is this what the locket actually looked like in the game? Was it like this? Is that what the nigga fell with? Like, damn. Huh. Right where it belongs. <laughs> right where it belongs, baby. God damn, man. Years later, and Undertale's still crazy. Still crazy experience for me, man. Damn. I bought this for that girl. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm going to put the locket aside. Let's see. That thing's still going. So let's see what else is inside the box because the, the locket was in this heart thing. You pulled this thing out. So now, let me see here. What else is in it? All right, so this is like a, um, like the, this little red box. This is like perfect for Valentine's Day, man. And in here, we have the actual game itself, the Undertale. It was on the PS4 I got the P um, collector's edition for. And uh, I don't know if they had it for PC, but, you know, everyone's got a PS4. So especially with the Slim being only like 200 bucks. Whoa, there's two things in here. So we have Undertale, the game itself, and then we also have... The collector's edition soundtrack i always like traveling light so having all this stuff on me not really my preference i usually i don't know i mean i the only collector's edition that i have is the legend of zelda breath of the wild one that's signed by um by anuma i'm never opening that shit for the rest of my life dog you, you trust me a game like that like that that shit is signed by the creator of the series i'm never gonna sell it but at some point i feel like that's gonna be able to feed my generations to come nigga that, that, how much is that worth right now? Because it's not just the collector's, it's the signed one. So, I, I, I think last I talked to Duncan Knee Deep, he said the shit was like $1,500 worth. So, who knows? In 20 years, I don't know. Maybe that'll be worth far more, but I'm never going to open that shit. So, if you ever want to rob me, and you want to go for my most valuable assets, go for my computer, and go for my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild signed by Anuma edition, okay? <laughs> collectors. Um, Phantom saying, thanks for the endless entertainment, my boy. Next bottle on me. 50 bucks for that bottle, my boy. Thank you. I appreciate it. As a matter of fact, I, I did kind of want to take a few shots with you niggas to celebrate all the donations and shit. Scar came through with heavy duty this time. I'm around. I mean, I, obviously, niggas are really playing hardball out here. We're waiting for this Nintendo Direct. Any more information to go down. But, you know, I thought I'd share this little story with you. There's actually more to the package than just what we opened up now. I'm going to put all this stuff back in there. I don't know. The heart locket thing is nice. There's no practical use for me to have it, though. Since I'm not really a collector, I don't really see too much value in holding on to a bunch of stuff that's old. You know, I mean, this is cool to have. It's like a little vintage thing. The only reason why, like I said, um, I would be, I didn't return it and that I thought I would be happy with it myself is because of how much Undertale affected me. Changed, like, you know, it didn't really change me but too much, but, you know, it was, a, it was a crazy game. You know, that game really, like, opened my eyes up to how um, a game can just touch you in terms of the emotional value and all that. So, you know, this is going to be something that I cherish for a while. And um, not to mention it got mad views. <laughs> I, I'm playing around, obviously. But, yeah. Undertale as an emotional game. <laughs> yes. So now you can make fun of me all you want. Undertale, yeah, I had a good Undertale for a man's interest. Ha ha. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, I bought Undertale, nigga. It's a good game. <laughs> Fuck out of here. It's a damn good game. I'm going to put this back in. There should be one other part to this. It's supposed to come with it, but maybe it's something else I have to open up too. I'm gonna put this thing back in here and I will just add this to the shelf, I guess. Why not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> I love this game. God damn it. All right, now, um, what was the other part of this that I needed to open up? Yo, VR chat, Etika? Okay, someone, listen, once I finish this, someone has to tell me about this. VR. Do, do you need a VR headset to play the VR chat? Let me know, let me know. Also, let me look at my Twitter real quick. I'm just getting a couple, uh, uh, okay. Okay, nothing else is going on yet. There should be more. There should be more, though. Yo, Purple Lover C came through. My dude is in here. He says, yo, I can't lie. Even though I already played Undertale, I would be pretty touched if a guy got me that for a Christmas present. And yes, I am a woman. Purple Lover C, you're a woman? I thought you were a southern nigga that drinks lean. Huh? But isn't it a, isn't it a nice gift? Isn't this awesome? I know the 
the heart and all that. I listen. When I ordered this, I didn't know that it would be presented in such a such a sensual way with the with the you know the heart like shape of the thing. This is so romantic. I think it's sweet. Dogs, listen. Gold, this is a gold gift idea. If you can get your hands on a collector's edition for Undertale and you're going out with a gamer or you're dating a gamer, seeing a gamer, talking to a gamer, buy her this, man. This she's gonna she's gonna appreciate this shit. Cause this is nice, man. If somebody gave me this, I know I would take my pants off. I would. Straight up. I'm not lying. <laughs> you know, you what do you want me to do? Tell a fit? Dogs. The, the, listen, my knickers are coming off. <laughs> I'll be like, oh word? All right, girl, you got it. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> you can take me <laughs> however you want me. Jesus Christ. Purple lover. I, I learned a couple things in there. That one, this is confirmed to be a great gift for romantic interest. And two, you're a girl. <laughs> like, what the fuck? With a name like that. I thought you drank lean. I, I, I just see, like, purple lover. And I, I instantly think of, like, Pimp C, Bun B, and all the other dirty style rappers who nobody knows nowadays because they all fell off eventually. Um, I'm going to put this here. Again, they're supposed to be... Okay, here we go. I found it. I found it, yes. So also this comes with a couple of stickers. So we have the annoying dog. And I guess they added in a little pamphlet. So let me look at these real quick. Pull out the dog. I'll probably just throw this inside of the box at some point. Because, you know, hey. I mean, I might as well keep all of this stuff together. So let me just throw this shit in here. I'm going to put it underneath the heart locket. So that way it doesn't slip out if I ever actually move this thing around. Um, there we go. I'll put the dog in the middle. Let me see if there's anything. I'm going to actually wait to see if there's anything else in there that I should go in. Uh, what else is in this little packet thing? Let me see here. Whoa, there's like a little... Whoa. What? Oh, they had like a little... Um, It's not like a postcard, but they have like something of uh, the, a human over here. The human in here. All the fan art of this is really, really good. Golden flowers. They must have broken your fall. Wow. <laughs> the reference is in here. The game is so indirect with how they mention the story and all that. I love how Toby Fox put this whole thing together. I'm also going to put that in the box. And then they just added a little thing here for their website, the fan gamer site, just to show off like shirt designs and all that. So real cool, real clean. All right. Now there's one other part to this little package I have here. This also came with it and it doesn't have a um, box or whatever. It was just inside the box on top of the collector's edition. I think the collector's edition is done though. Well, for now, I'll just put it here, whatever. I'm not gonna close it just yet because there may be some stuff in this other part. Now, being honest, I don't remember what the fuck this is, but it came with the Undertale thing. So whoever, so this girl was gonna get like this too. What the fuck was in this? It feels like a book. Oh, we got an enclosed instruction book? All right, there's another fucking... <laughs> Why not? A bag within a bag, nigga. Double protection. Wrap it up twice. Why not? You gotta stay safe out here. Let me see here. Check Nintendo's Twitter, my guy. I'm on the Twitter right now. I'm still looking, baby. I'm still looking. Trust me, I ain't going nowhere. Niggas are still out here, bro. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Let me... Let me, let me, as a matter, let me just see their tweets and replies. Let me see if there's anything else going on here. Nothing else. All right, so... As you can see, I I'll leave this on the screen, actually. So this way niggas can know that I'm out here, all right? After, um, after I finish opening this stuff up, I'm probably going to dip because it seems like there ain't much going on right now. All we know is that they're aware that we know, so now they're playing games. Let them have their fun. We'll be here when the shit goes down. Hey, and we, oh, this is the art book. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. I can't really show you too much in here because clearly it'll be a spoiler, but this is kind of nice too, man. Damn. Let me, let, me, let me flip through this bitch real quick. VR chat, my dude? You don't need VR, but use VR chat. Oh, okay, so you don't need it. Yeah, I ain't got this thing up. Why is Ellen DeGeneres suggested as someone to follow on here? This, this is art book. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to flip through this thing real quick. A lot of interesting stuff here. They show you. Oh, wow. They have the old school art. They got the Heat Flamesman and all this. Oh, whoa. They got some shit in here. What the fuck? Yo, what in the hell? Toby Fox, what the hell were you doing with this game? There's some shit in here, boy. Oh, no, no, no. I can't show too much of that. Nigga, damn. Undertale, heart hold. What the fuck? This is cute. I like it. Now, the only thing is... I know this is supposed to come with something else. 
something else that was supposed to come with this. But I guess it's not, I guess they didn't do it. Considering it was a romantic, it was intended, it was intended as a romantic gift, there was supposed to be a romantic aspect to it. But I guess they were like, yeah, whatever, we're not gonna do that. Okay. Oh man, so it's a good thing I didn't, it's a good thing whoever I was supposed to give this to didn't get it right away because then they would have not gotten that little thing I put in there. But they didn't add it in. Oh, whatever. All right, so that was my little unboxing of the Undertale Collector's Edition. Um, it's a little bit late, of course, but you know, it wasn't intended to even be in my possession, so whatever.